The International Exhibition of Science, Art and Industry was the first of four international exhibitions held in Glasgow, Scotland during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It took place at Kelvin Grove Park between May and November 1888. The main aim of the exhibition was to draw international attention to the city's achievements in applied sciences, industry and the arts during the Industrial Revolution. However, it was also hoped the exhibition would raise enough money for a much-needed museum, art gallery and school of art in the city. The exhibition was opened by the Prince of Wales, as honorary president of the exhibition, on 8 May 1888. It was the greatest exhibition held outside London and the largest ever in Scotland during the 19th century. Topic. Design The buildings for the exhibition were designed by competition-winning Glaswegian architect James Sellers. Sellers decided on an oriental style which «lends itself readily to execution in wood». The buildings were however temporary, and consideration had to be given to ease of dismantling them once the exhibition was over. The main building, which housed most of the exhibits, occupied an area of Kelvin Grove Park between the River Kelvin and Sandyford Street which is now on the route of Sorky Hall Street. It featured a 170 feet high dome erected on an iron framework covered in galvanized sheet iron. Four octagonal supporting towers around the dome were made of brick, with minarets on top. Topic Exhibits Topic Industrial Scottish firms accounted for two thirds of the exhibitors at the International Exhibition of 1888, with many Glasgow firms featuring prominently. The majority of the third that came from Outworth Scotland were from England, with London providing the largest number, followed by Lancashire and Yorkshire. India and Canada were the principal origin of non-British exhibitors. Of the 70 firms from out with the British Empire, most were from France, Germany, Italy and the USA. One of the main British commercial exhibitors was Dalton & Co., who presented the massive terracotta Dalton Fountain to the city after the International Exhibition of 1888. Originally situated in Kelvin Grove Park during the exhibition, it was later moved to Glasgow Green in 1890. At 46 feet high, with its outer basin measuring 70 feet in diameter, it remains the biggest fountain of its kind in the world. Recreation More populist attractions which were intended to broaden the exhibition's appeal to the public were kept separate from the main academic and industrial exhibits, sited in an area between the University of Glasgow and the west bank of the River Kelvin. One of the most popular attractions was a switchback railway. Other popular attractions included a shooting gallery, a captive air balloon and regular musical performances by bands, sports events such as football matches, cycle racing and Highland Games were held in the adjacent University Athletics Ground. The River Kelvin itself was an important feature at the International Exhibition of 1888. It was specially deepened and cleaned for the occasion. Exhibition goers could take trips on the river in electric and steam-powered launches as well as on a gondola imported from Venice. The latter proved particularly popular, as were the two gondoliers, nicknamed Signor Hokey and Signor Pokey. Topic: <laughs> Impact When the exhibition closed in November 1888, the final attendance figure was 5,748,379. A profit of £43,000 was further evidence of the exhibition's success, with the money going towards the construction of the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum, which functioned as the Palace of Fine Arts for the subsequent Glasgow International Exhibition, also held at Kelvin Grove Park, in 1901.
Topic See also Glasgow International Exhibition 1901 Scottish Exhibition of National History, Art and Industry 1911 Empire Exhibition, Bella Park 1938 Glasgow Garden Festival 1988 Festivals in Glasgow, 